I'm going to be in Luke 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and waves roaring. Our waters are out of control in many, many different nations, countries. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. This is where we are now. We are rising against nation against nation, which means ethnicity against ethnicity. And what's coming to the nations already in the United States of America, we are going to be surrounded by 11 U.S. military bases that are going to be housing quarantine quarantining people that have the coronavirus. So far, every time that they have quarantined people, a lot of infections start to spread and take place wherever they are reporting it. We are there, people. We are there. We are definitely there. And... Uh, it says here, but before all of these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. This, this is incredible where we are now. It, it really is. This has taken a very ugly turn, a very fast turn. And I can't believe what it says in Luke 21, 25, and 26. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them for the fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then... And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. We are yet to be thrown into calamity after calamity. And it clearly, clearly states the distress of nations. Distress of the nations. And it says here that, that we are being led into prisons. That's exactly what's happening. Exactly. Exactly. The people that are being quarantined, a lot of people are never going to make it out of those, those, those quarantined places, fortresses that they have built for the people that are infected with a virus. There is yet another stronger, deadlier virus that even if you recover from the, from the quarantines of, uh, of um, the virus, it's going to hit again. And this time it's not going to miss. And this is where we are. You're, we, 
the people are being thrown into quarantine military bases. And that's where we are right now. There's no mistake about it. I am honestly, the fact that 11, I think there's even 15 military bases that are going to take in and quarantine this people that have been infected. And that's why men's hearts are going to fail them. As a matter of fact, that new deadlier virus is, in fact, going to cause an immediate a heart attack. It's going to cause an immediate heart attack. It says here, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The people are going to be led away captive into all nations. Isn't that what is happening now? Without our control, the people are going to be led into this quarantine uh, facilities where they they will never make it out. Um, the situation looks very grim, just like my dream. My dream was that I had seen piles and piles and piles of dead bodies that were piling up. China has got so many bodies that have piled up. They don't know what to do with so many so many. So now is the time to get on our, on our knees and remain there until our redemption draws near. And when these things, this is, I'm going to be still in Luke 21, 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads for your redemption draws nigh near. This is, I don't have words, I have no words, but to not stop praying for all of us. Again, bring it to Father God, ask the Holy Spirit, and we must remain in uh, on our knees and come before Father God. I love you guys.